is Enz, and this is Movie or Booze, the show where I make a drink and watch a movie so you don't have to watch a movie. We should try the drink, it's good. This week's movie is The Great Gatsby, so it doubles as a book and a movie, because you're welcome. Who else is going to review a book and a movie for you so you don't have to do your book report or watch the movie? I just say it'd be like, lots of time. And it's guaranteed that anything I say can be put in a book report. Put in a book report, even that. Because I'm better than you. Okay, so the drink we're making is what I like to call a fancy gin and tonic because it has gin and no tonic and that I am not creative with me. Okay, first ingredient, gin. Get some. I use two shots of gin. Um, you can use however what you want. Great. Put that away. Close that up. It smells like Christmas trees. All right, the next one is blackberry simple syrup, which is simple-ish to make. And I will put a description in the description box because I don't want to tell you how to make it right now because I trust you. Um, the thing you should know is that it's real sweet, so don't put a lot, put a little, and then try it. So I'm just gonna do like a, just a dash, just a, that might've even been too much. Just enough sweet on the gin. Okay, perfect. Now, ice. Put in your ice, however much you want. Okay, now the last step is lemonade, and I chose sparkling lemonade because Gatsby is fancy. But you can use whatever lemonade you want. Um, I'm not gonna shake this drink because you can bruise the gin and you have carbonated beverage in there, so it just seems like all kinds of terrible. And this might actually explode on me. We're good, okay, so then just pour it on top. Kind of double your gin, I don't know, do what you do. Do, do, do. And there you go. One fancy gin top. Look at that! Good! The best. Okay. Make some of these and watch the movie. If you're not gonna watch the movie, I'll see you on the flip flip. Stop it. So the movie's over. And let's just say it was a long two hours. But it was like, bro, I'm tired. I am drinking and I can't keep up with all your shenanigans because there's that lady's half naked. That guy's riding tiger. It's like, it's too much. Uh, Leo came on the screen and changed nothing because he was already amazing to me. So it was just another like, huh, sure. Uh, Spider-Man was fine. Carrie Blue Eyes. What's her name? Carrie? Anyway. She was fine. She was boring. I mean, I like her as a I don't know, she's probably a very nice person. It was just very like, oh, he loves me, I, where am I? Um, her boyfriend looked eerily similar to the guy, the bad guy in the Titanic with the gun, and I don't, was that him? Was it? If it was, um, he needs to get a hobby because apparently all he likes to do is ruin Leonardo DiCaprio's day. He's probably in charge of the Oscars. Shenanigans, car accidents, billboard eyes. That's all I need to know. So at the end of some time that I'll never regain in my life, I'm gonna give it a six pack of course because I didn't wanna finish it, but I did. Cheers. Stop it. No, Boslerman, I say no to you. <laughs>